welcome to Access Video. I'm so delighted to be here today and tell you of the great journey that we're on at the moment. We're looking at aged care, particularly as it relates to Western Sydney, and we've been sponsored, and I'm really delighted to, to tell you, by PwC, a global accounting firm. David Haggerty, the managing partner, has been very impressed with what we're going to do at our round table today. I hope you'll enjoy it. I'm certainly sure that it will be able to show you and reveal a number of opportunities that will help you in your business. We look forward to you watching us and seeing how you can turn this wonderful event into an opportunity. Talk soon. You mentioned the difference between aged care and ageing. Can you set a platform for that? What is ageing and what is aged care? Aged care tends to be, in most of our clients, nursing homes home-based services, but ageing is the majority of people who are out there getting some sort of support. Because of the lifestyle patterns that people will, and behaviours that people will have led in the third, fourth and fifth decades, that is going to increase the complexity of care because they will have long-term conditions. The classic example is diabetes. On the ball, aged care providers, both public and private, have to concede that, that the level of acuity is increasing, so the stay will be shorter at an older age with more complex needs and in effect you cannot separate palliation, which seems odd, and I'm relatively uh, recent to the aged care sector, but it seems odd that <coughs> nursing homes, aged care facilities, aren't necessarily that well geared towards palliative approaches. So that's a really big thing. When you say we don't palliate well, what, what, what context? Oh, look, I think, just to come on John's point, is I think that the industry and demand are not geared towards probably um, edu educationally. Is that something an opportunity? Like what have better term, an opportunity, or is that something that should be? Oh no, it's an opportunity. I have a PhD student who's researching the um, AINs that work in aged care facilities and how can we increase the knowledge, skills and attitudes around a palliative care approach. And the fact that because of the demographics of Western Sydney is so dispersed, does that mean that we, we have to be looking more and more down having a retirement village or aged care for a certain um, group of people? And I think uh, people like to be together. Okay, you like to be in your own roots. You like to be in an environment where everything is as you know, as you're growing up or you're where you are. One of the major issues is in our workforce. We have, an, in the sector, there's an ageing workforce that's hard to attract and retain them. It's hard to let them know that we value them because their wages are abysmal. They're abysmal. They're actually below the acute sector, so in terms of a new graduate, just to take the example, they will go to the acute sector before they'll think about going and having a career in aged care. And, and that's a dollar decision because Correct. they have a mortgage to that's pay. Right. There's no uptake, and I don't understand why, because there is a huge marketing opportunity. We profile it in the university. We have aged care embedded within our curriculum. We have researchers in aged care. So they're exposed to it. I've got honours students in aged care going up to PhD, but where do they go? They get lost to the sector because there's no uptake. That is a huge issue. So the providers of business in Western Sydney could be saying, well, let's provide innovative childcare solutions that are around the opening hours of aged care facilities, work with them, work near them, and then you'd certainly get, I think, a higher quality of worker who's more loyal to you just for having done that. But even at the top end of the funding structure in the last ACAR round, you're looking at, what, $40,000, $45,000 a year in terms of care for staying at home, which equates to the grand sum of 21 hours a week. What sort of, you know, that's, that's sort of fiddling around the edges. We go in and do some support for people with dementia, and I can guarantee you that none of those families who are dealing with, who are looking after a, fan, a, a person with dementia, um, ever comes home early. They might have three, four hours away of respite. They don't come home early because it's bloody hard work. With the accommodation that, that we're building, the new Quake facility is certainly quite large common areas. If you walk around any of our facilities that leave you with that feeling, um, that's a great facility. There's very few residents in their rooms, they're out having activity around the common areas. It's got, yeah, it's got a buzz to it. Somebody else who's going to be employed says, oh, I would make sure that I got a wheelchair, that I made sure that that person comes out with everybody else so that they're not isolated, righty, righty, righty. That's the person that you want, who can think outside the square. Yeah, and, and look, I mean, in terms of as a sector, I mean, as a company, 
one of our values is accountability, but how do you actually translate accountability? That's the, that's the thing we want to actually yeah. take initiative to actually not leave that resident there, but actually interact, make something happen. Mm -hmm. They may not always get it right, but they're actually they're showing some accountability. And that's, I think, a bit of a gap in my observations in, in the sector. I can only talk from the main principal group's perspective is there is sometimes that gap. Really, it's actually us making it better. At a, facility, at a facility level and at a company level in those, those people, but it does start with management. Mm -hmm. well. that, that is a common problem though in all industries. Yeah. Though. It's not just your industry. We're, we're having, in the, in the accounting profession, we're having the same problem. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a, it's a more broader picture than just the staff of the, of the aged care industry. Mm -hmm.